I don't know how y'all, but I have this cute little heart on my face. But as promised, I am here at five o'clock teaching how to make the invisible hair patches. And before anybody DMs me, my shirt is supposed to have holes in it. <laughs> I bought it like this. So it's up to everybody that's coming in. I'm gonna try to wave at everybody. I won't be before you long. This will be very quick. This is how easy it is to make these invisible hair patches. So I'm just gonna give everybody a moment to come in. I'm just waving at everybody. I hope y'all had an amazing week. Man, my week has been crazy. Hey, my week has been crazy. We are literally in the middle of moving. So clearly, I didn't think this all the way through because I can't be in my studio right now because my studio is in the middle of getting packed up for our move. Um, so yeah, so it is what it is. I'm in our office at what is about to be our old house uh, before we move into the new house. So the background that y'all been seeing me in the videos with palm trees, that's our new house that's in the backyard and the lighting there is amazing. But here the lighting is just okay. But it is what it is. Okay. So it is 5.02 and I'm trying to give everybody, hey, Aisha, how are you? I'm trying to give everybody a chance to join uh, before I start. So before I begin um, and get into this training, there's also a couple, um, a couple of questions that I want to answer too. Hey, Best Day Hair College, I'm glad you guys are on here because I'm going to talk about that thing that I just ordered from you guys too. So, uh, before I get into that, listen, there is only nine days left to enroll in Lace Wig University. And after these nine days, that's it. It's not coming back till 2023. Um, it's $3.95 to enroll or four payments of $99. Um, you also have the option, it's not required, you have the option to come out to Las Vegas for three days for hands-on training. Uh, and that registration fee for that is only $49. Or if you want VIP access, it is only $199. All right, something that I'm doing for students. I'm considering opening it up to the general public, but right now it's just for students. And I would love to have each and every one of you inside Lacewig University. It's broken up into four phases. Phase one being the Lacewig training system. Uh, phase two being the Lacewig Mentorship Program, where you uh, make your first piece from scratch. You make your first closure piece from scratch. You learn about marketing, the right mindset, then all of the bonuses unlock where I show you how to make wigs on the industrial sewing machine, on uh, two other traditional machines, uh, how to work with insurance companies, how to make your first $10,000 making lace wigs, and all kinds of amazing things. Fluent instructors literally from all over the world, from London, from New York, from uh, Alabama, from North Carolina, from Florida at the time, you name it. They came from everywhere, uh, even the ATL. And then after that, uh, phase four unlocks all of your graduation uh, certificates. Actually, it doesn't unlock your certificate. It unlocks the test that you take before you get your certificate and the seal that you use to put on your website to let everybody know that you are a graduate of Lacewood University. It's only open for nine more days, all right? After that, you can't get in until it is open again next year, 2023. All right, so let's get into this training tonight. Before I get into the training though, so many people have slid in my DMs on TikTok and Instagram and on YouTube asking where to get the thin skin. This is what it looks like. It comes in a roll. You can see I cut it right here. It comes in a roll just like this. And it's a huge roll, look at that. I have a lot of this stuff because I have a machine that actually punches the hair into this automatically. It looks like a sewing machine. Once I get moved into my new studio and moved into the new house, 
I will do a training and tutorial with that machine. I, I just cannot do it right now because everything is packed up. Um, but that is what this is used for. And if you look at one of my, thank you, Best of Hair College. Yes, you sure did. And I got my uh, tracking and I cannot wait to get my, uh, my little surprise. I'm saying it like that because I don't remember what the name of what Vesta Hair College. Can you please tell us what the name of the apparatus is? Again, please. Um, there is a, a video, a reel actually on my Instagram that teaches you how to ventilate hair into this with no knot. Will you have a QA after this live? Yeah, you can drop your questions. Um, you can drop your questions at the end and I will answer your questions. Okay, so like I've been saying all week, this is super simple uh, to make these uh, little invisible hair patches. So what a lot of people don't realize is there are so many different ways. Look at this right here. These are just 10 different ways. Actually, it says nine right here. The 10th one must have got cut off. So listen, there's so many different ways to make money with lace wigs. You can be a ventilator, work in theater, television and film, do repairs, hybrid wigs, provide rental pieces, non-surgical hair replacement, wigs for kids, one day wigs, customizations, and do these amazing hair patches. The name of the PU skin. No, the, um, the yellow thing, this thing right here. Hold on, let me find it. So this thing right here i forgot the name of this thing so for those of you who are asking let me go ahead and answer this question too so for those of you who are asking where to get the yellow thing from that they're using to make this template this company right here that you see in blue vesta hair college i just ordered 10 of them um and they were very inexpensive and they have them. I was on live the other day. Head mold replicator. There we go. Thank you. So this right here is a head mold replicator. They have them. I just ordered 10 of them. And I ordered the tape that goes with it as well. So if you... <laughs> no, it's not fake. So if you want one, uh, reach out to Vesta Hair College. They are able to get you one. And they are inexpensive. Um, but the reason why I ordered 10 is because shipping, uh, didn't come to play. All right. So <laughs> let's just be honest there. All right. So, okay. Back to what I was saying, the invisible hair patches. So the invisible hair patches allow you to customize and make pieces that are specific to hair loss, your hair loss clients. So here's an example of two men who are suffering from hair loss so the man over here that my face is blocking is a t he has a typical circular area j just about this big that's balding all right and the man on the opposite side in this instance what you would do is just shave off the area that he's thinning significantly in and just create a create a piece specifically for that area these pieces can be any size it can be a teeny tiny spot like this like you've seen me post it can be big it can be small it does not matter the key here is to let me go back to the head mold replicator once you determine first i'm gonna go here once you determine the hair loss area like this the, spe the specific place where the hair loss is at once you determine that area the next thing you have to do is you gotta create your mold, all right? So that's when you're going to go back to, where is it at? The head mold replicator. I just had it up, here we go. That's when you're gonna go back to the head mold replicator or something similar to this. If the spot is super, super small, then you don't need to use the head mold replicator. If the spot is super small, you can just um, use a piece of saran wrap and tape over it. Or you may not even need to do that. You probably can just measure it and then pop the piece on. But exactly what you see here is exactly how you do it. So you're gonna use your saran wrap and then you're gonna put your tape over it after you draw it out. So those arrows that they're drawing is telling 
the ventilator or the wig maker the direction that the hair needs to fall in so that it doesn't look weird when it's on, all right? So that's when your directional ventilating and all of that stuff comes into play. So once you create your pattern or your mold, basically your mold is essentially your pattern, all right? That's your, going to be your guideline for creating this piece, for creating your, um, what did I call it? Invisible hair patch, okay? Once you create that, then the process is super simple. So up here on the top left, um, let's pretend like that's my head mold. Really what this is, is it's a template of a closure that um, I teach you, oops, that I teach you how to make in Lace Week University. So let's just pretend that that was our head mold for the hair loss area for our particular client. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take that pattern, so you're gonna take that saran wrap and that tape, you're gonna cut it out just like I did here and you're gonna pin it down to your wig block. Now, hey Rob, when you pin it down to your wig block, you wanna make sure you're using straight pins like I did here. If you use ball pins and then place the lace, which is the picture that is right underneath this with the brown, if you use ball, pin, ball pins and then get ready to place the lace over it, guess what? The ball pins are going to puncture your lace, so that's why you wanna make sure you use straight pins. The next step, in the process is to select your lace. Now, when it comes to lace, I talked about lace a little bit the other day, but when it comes to lace, you have to understand that not all lace is created equal. Um, you have lace that comes from different manufacturers. Um, I like to purchase lace from either Atelier or Bossy or uh, Fishbach Miller. Um, I know for a fact Atlee Arbasi has uh, an Instagram. I don't think Fishbach Miller does. Fishbach Miller is a German company, um, F-I-S-C-H-B-A-C-H Miller. If you decide to place orders with Fishbach Miller, and I think Vesta Hair College has lace as well, um, their lace is called Asian lace, and it's a little bit different than the lace that you use with Atlee Arbasi and Fishbach Miller. Fishbach Miller, like I said, is a German company. If you decide to do business with them, understand that your invoices may come in in German, so you may have to ask them to um, translate it for you. All right, just that tidbit of information there because that happened to someone and they were like, well, I never placed an order because I didn't understand my invoice. <laughs> I'm like, just ask them to convert it for you, they will. So. Those are two places that um, that I like to purchase uh, purchase lace from. There's also Jagazi Natural. She's right here on Instagram as well. There's the wig department. There's multiple places that you can purchase lace from. My suggestion, and I will show it to you if I had it in front of me, but I don't because um, it's packed up. But there is a lace sample booklet. A lot of these, okay, great. So Vesta Hair College has both Korean and Swiss lace. So a lot of these companies that specialize in making and selling lace have lace sample booklets that you can order that shows you the different uh, deniers of lace, the different types of lace, the different colors of lace. Um, Bossy has coated lace and all kinds of different lace. So I always suggest, yes, there's gonna be a replay of this live. I always suggest to order your lace sample book booklet so that you can touch it and feel it and know exactly what you want to use for your particular client. Now, when you select the lace, you also have to have in your mind the density that you're going to be going for for where the hair loss is located. So let me see if I have that video. So in one of the videos that I posted the other day, I mentioned, oh, here it is right here. Just kidding, that's not it. Hold on, let me see if I can find this video. So in one of the videos that I posted the other day, I mentioned that the density was off. So the density in the actual hair piece did not match the density of the gentleman they were making the piece for. It was a little bit too thick. 
So you wanna make sure, I do not see this video. So you wanna make sure that you consider the density when you are making these pieces um, because that matters considerably. The last thing you want is for you to spend all that time making a piece and the density not match and it just looks like they're wearing a toupee or a little hair piece. So you just need to make sure you match the density. And you need to make sure, obviously, that you match the texture of their hair as close as possible that you can get it. Um, and then, once you do that, you just ventilate. You ventilate the piece, and then you attach it, and it's really that simple. And then you're done. That's it. It's that simple. It's so easy. Um, obviously, you learn how to ventilate and how to do all of, like, all, everything that has to do with wigs inside Lace Wig University. But I know some of you are not ready yet to enroll in Lace Wig University because you got to get your finances together. And some of you have shared with me that you're going to enroll next year. But I do have, if you go to my Insta story after this live, I do have on my Insta story a tutorial for ventilating. It's just, I think it's called How to Ventilate a Lace Wig or something like that. It goes kind of fast. So you might have to slow it down. But for those of you who are like, I don't know, I wanna enroll in Lace Week University, but I don't know, enroll. You get everything from start to finish. You'll have no questions about anything when it's all said and done. But for those of you who are still like, mm, not really ready yet, go to my Insta story and watch that training. You can also go to my YouTube channel. I have YouTube videos there as well. But it's really, honestly, it's, it's seriously that simple. And making sure that you choose the right type of hair, the right texture of hair, and all of that stuff. Hey, Tiffany, how are you? Making sure that you match as close as possible to what your client is already um, having to that texture of hair, then you're totally fine. Um, a lot of people ask me about the kinky textures and uh, the kinky curly textures. Most of the, so inside Lace Wig University, there is a vendor list that I give everybody. Now, let me say this. Um, <clears throat> some of the vendors that are on the list, some of them fall off and we try to keep it as updated as possible, but sometimes we just can't control if somebody just falls off the face of the earth and, does, and stops responding. Somebody will eventually let us know and we'll remove them. Hey, Nina, we'll remove them off of the list. But you get a list of, I think it's over 25 vendors that have all of these different textures of hair, um, all of these different grades of hair and all kinds of things. There's even some Indian vendors on there as well. All right, so there's... What did I talk about? Those are your textures of hair. I talked about density and making sure that you create your pattern and that you tell yourself what how you're going to ventilate um, and making sure you pay attention to the directions when you're ventilating. So these invisible hair patches are super simple. Um, sometimes I think a lot of people overthink the entire process. And I also think that some people, um, overthink making lace wigs from scratch and, 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 and are limited in their thinking with making lace wigs from scratch. Thinking that, oh, I'm gonna have to spend all day ventilating and making wigs from scratch when that could not be further from the truth. All right, you will not, you don't have to spend all day making lace wigs from scratch. There are so many other things that you can do. I mean, you can do repairs. I talked about it earlier, repairs, one day wig customization. So there's one of my, um, two of my students I flew in, three, Rob was in my mentorship program. Carmelisha and Toria Dimps were both students of Lace Wig Training System. And then they eventually soared and um, decided to teach. So I brought them back in. Uh, to teach inside Lace Wig University. And Toria taught her one day wig customization method. So this was a this was back in, I think she came out in 2017 or 2018. And she teaches you how to use Nair to remove the hair from the certain areas of the wig that you don't want it in and go back and ventilate. 
she shares in the training that in one day she was able to customize I think four or five wigs at $500 a piece and she made $2,000 that day it's that simple people sit there and think oh I don't want to ventilate all day you don't have to or if you want to you can just knock a bunch of pieces out back to back Carmelicia came in to teach how to repair wigs all right that's a whole nother thing especially now with supply chain issues it's harder to get things in and if you are getting it in it's like quadruple the price or sometimes double the price so people are reusing their wigs and they need to know they need people to repair these wigs so they're not throwing them away most of the time when wigs get thrown away it's because they they could have been repaired <laughs> when wigs get thrown away they don't know that they could have been repaired so Carmelisha teaches you how to repair wigs inside Lace Wig University. These are super simple. And I even have a section um, inside the, the first phase where I'm teaching you how to do repairs as well. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this thing. You could just be a ventilator. You could be a ghost wig maker. You can do all kinds of things. Tiffany, I see her work all the time. She's a former student as well. I'm telling you. This is such an amazing skill. And you know what warms my heart the most is seeing people like that little girl in that video that I posted earlier today. I seriously was tearing up in that video because wigs and hair. So as hairstylists and wig makers and barbers, we have the ability to do something that I believe no other profession has the ability to do other than maybe makeup. We have the ability to change people's perception about how they feel about themselves with a comb and a brush and a flat iron or with a wig. That is crazy to me and that is huge and it is something that is simply amazing. Simply amazing. So listen, I spent so much time at cancer centers when my mom was going through her battle with breast cancer. I talked to so many men and women in those cancer centers who had to deal with hair loss, okay? It was a little bit different. I always say it's a little bit different from um, slightly, not a big difference, but if you have someone that has alopecia that's been dealing with alopecia for a very long time, a lot of times people who have alopecia have become accustomed to um, wearing their hair or wearing their wigs a certain type of way and that's what makes them feel comfortable. But when you have cancer and you go through chemo, you've never experienced hair loss so rapidly at that level, so it hits you a little bit different. And I'll never forget, my mom used to come up from um, North Carolina or come down from North, yeah, come down from North Carolina to South Carolina, um, sometimes to watch the kids. I have two, for those that don't know, I have two teenagers now. I have a 16 and a, no, I have an 18 year old and a 17 year old. Oh my gosh, almost 17 year old. And my mom, when they were younger, she used to come down to help us out a lot because we were still active duty military. My husband and I are both uh, veterans from the United States Air Force. And so my mom had come down one weekend and she used to be down there so much that my brothers, I have two younger brothers, that their dentist, their orthodontist was in South Carolina. So she was sitting in the orthodontist office. She had probably had maybe two to three um, chemo treatments, still functional. And her hair, uh, I come from a family of cosmetologists. I have cosmetologists on both sides of my family. Oh, yeah, on both sides of my family. And so my aunt, my mom's sister, had put her hair up into a ponytail. And so my mom went to go rub the back of her hair. And when she rubbed the back of her hair, a whole handful of hair came out while she was sitting in the dentist's office. That was so sad to watch. She was just... Deva said, first of all, she was embarrassed. She got up and she walked out. And I was like, what the heck is going on with mom? And so I walked out behind her and there she showed me. She was like, my hair, my hair is falling out. And my mom was never a person to complain. 
So even though I know how she was probably feeling terrible internally, you never would have known. And so by the time she got back home to North Carolina, she went to my aunt's salon. Um, she went to shampoo her hair to take it out and all of her hair matted up at once into a ball and came out in the sink and she was completely bald. It happened just like that. There was no warning. We knew that it was going to happen. Um, I found out something at that at her oncology appointment that I didn't know before. And that is not every um, person that goes through chemo loses their hair. But this particular type of chemo that my mom went through caused hair loss, like many of them do. And so she went through and that's when, that's how I got into wigs. This was all the way back in 2006. And that's when I decided that I wanted to make my mom the kind of wigs that they make in television and film. Little did I know, YouTube didn't exist then. I knew YouTube didn't exist then, but little did I know it was going to be way harder than I could have ever imagined. That's why I'm so passionate about um, helping people who suffer from hair loss. Um, I did not know it was going to be that hard. I did not know that the information was like, it was very difficult to find. There was no YouTube there was no Lace Wig University. There was none of that back then. So I was stuck having to figure it out on my own with no resources except for old books. I didn't know that I could have just flown over to Europe and learned the process. I love you too, Nina. I didn't know that. So many of you already know, some of you know that um, my relationship with God is very important to me. So I give him the glory every chance I get. So it was God's grace and mercy <laughs> and downloading ideas into my mind and having dreams and then coming to try to do what I saw in the dream. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. But through trial and error, I created the very first Lace Week training system, which was all the way back in uh, 07 or 08 or something like that. And that's when I started teaching this skill. And my mom was my assistant until she was just too sick to assist. Um, until we, she, we moved her in with us for the last four years of her life. And when we took her to, she passed away the day after Mother's Day in 2016. Um, and I will never forget going to that doctor's appointment when we found out that her cancer had come back and it was metastatic and she was wheeled into the doctor's office lord don't make me start preaching she was wheeled into the doctor's office um, because she couldn't walk and the doctor said you know you're not you're never going to walk again but he was saying all these things to her and she let him finish and she looked at him and she said you don't get to determine my destiny and so once the appointment was over, she stood up and she walked out of that hospital and she walked until the day she died. Whew, that's not even where I was going with that, but somebody needed to hear that. So um, it was at that appointment that the doctor said, the doctor at the time uh, put her on this type of chemo that to make a long story short, he said, in order to keep you alive, I got to put you on this chemo. And he talked about all the side effects and her hair will never grow back. So she was bald for the rest of her life because that chemo um, took all of her hair out. It was only supposed to work for nine months, but it worked for four years by the grace of God. And then um, closer to the end of her life, she was just getting tired. The chemo had stopped working. Uh, she got put on a different type of chemo and it was just too strong and mama was tired. And so she went home to be with the Lord the day after Mother's Day. The anniversary of her death is coming up very, very soon. Um, but that's how I didn't even plan on sharing that. But that's how I got into the amazing. That's right. God has the final say. That's how I got into this amazing industry of wigs. It was through my mom's cancer diagnosis all of those years ago. And so from that moment, uh, when I created the very first Lace Week training system and I started teaching this skill and then it has flourished from there. 
And I will always continue to do this until I'm called to do something else. Um, because cancer patients and people who suffer from permanent hair loss have a special place in my heart. And so to be able to teach this skill and help other people learn it so that they then can go help other people is just nothing short of amazing to me. It is a blessing being able to wake up every day and do something like this that I absolutely love. Look, I purchased your DVD. See, <laughs> you've been in it for a very long time. Yeah, so I started uh, with a website called braidsbybreslin.com. And um, I had DVDs and that's what I sold. I sold DVDs until I went digital. I don't even remember what year we went digital, but I remember it being a massive transition. It was a huge transition in our business and now everything is completely digital. But for those that had questions, go ahead and drop those questions in the chat. Yes, the DVD, the set. You know what's crazy? I don't have one of those DVDs right now. I don't even, I don't even have, I don't know what happened to them. I think when we moved from South Carolina out here to Vegas, somehow they got lost and I don't have any more DVDs. So a couple years ago when I was, um, I was in DC teaching lace wigs, <laughs> coincidentally, a lady, one of my students showed up with all of the DVDs. I was so excited. What? That is crazy. That's crazy. You are so welcome, Deborah. You are so welcome. God bless you. All the rest of your DVD. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Y'all are so amazing. Okay, I saw a couple questions earlier. Let me see if I can get to some of them. My mother-in-law has cancer and all of her hair is gone. I'm working on her a wig. Wow. God bless you. Uh, I'm, I will be sure to put her in my prayers. Uh, if you can, DM me her name, please. I purchased your DVDs back then. Thank you. To God be the glory. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I know there was, a, I saw it and I should have just answered it, but I get sidetracked. I get sidetracked so easy with these comments. Okay, I don't see it. How, oh, how long can you reuse the PU skin? It depends on how the individual is caring for the piece, but it tends to last just as long as a lace wig, maybe even longer because of the type of material. It is a really, um, I don't want to say thick because that's it's not thick. I'll say it's very durable. <laughs> it's very durable. Um, but I can't, it's not so thin that I can just rip it. I have to like really tug at it to pull it. So it'll last a very long time as long as it's cared for properly. Um, okay. Uh, I need that ventilation machine you have. Hit up Vesta Hair College. They're on here and they have it. Um... It's pretty awesome. I haven't had enough time to play with it as much as I want to. But with that machine, actually, the one that looks like the sewing machine, it can um, inject hair into lace as well. Um, I haven't done it yet because my machine is packed up. But as soon as we move in, I'm going to start playing with that machine. But it can inject hair into lace as well. Inside Lace Wig University, is there a supply list? I can purchase before class starts. Yes. So as soon as it, people get confused about this because we have a start date. And the reason why we have a start date is so that everybody can go through the mentorship program together because not only do you go through the mentorship program, but we also have private live classes where I answer your questions and stuff like that. So that's why I have everybody start at the same time so that when it's time to do the Q&A, everybody can be at the same point. But if you can't go through it at, at those times, you have lifetime access, so it's okay. But 
So when when you uh, enroll, you get immediate access into the first phase, which is the lace wig training system. So you don't have to wait for that. And there is a supply list in there. There's also an option to purchase supplies from us. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Don't even feel obligated to do that. Um, there's a supply list in there. And I do not get a commission or a kickback or nothing from any of the people who's on that supply list. All right. So I'm not, there's no ulterior motive there. All right. So I just want to be clear on that. I think, oh, I want to come wherever, I want to come wherever you are. Where are you? I'm going to stay by your side. I live in Las Vegas. Um, best money I've ever spent investing in this crap. I love it. Yes. Is the mentorship available separately if I have the course already? If you already have Lace Week University, then you already have the mentorship program. If you have one of my older systems, that's not the same. Um, all of the content and information inside Lace Week University is totally different. I filmed everything from scratch. So last July, um, I was we had a satellite location in Orange County. And I flew back here to Vegas for two months and did nothing but film Lacewood University. As soon as we got done filming, I personally edited that entire course because I wanted it done a certain way. And I knew nobody was going to be able to do it the way I wanted to. So I came back and I edited the entire thing, even down to the mentorship program. Everything was done from scratch. But... I do have my business mentorship program that I am going to be offering at the live event that's going to be here in Vegas. Um, and I have not offered that since 2019. And a lot of people have been asking for it. Um, and I'm going to bring it back in 2022 at the event here in Vegas. I'm so excited for that. Okay. I know I'm way behind because I scrolled all the way up for that. Okay, let's see. Uh, the machine can inject hair into lace, still a bit different from the ventilated one. Thank you for answering those questions. Uh, yep, I still go back to mine occasionally. I purchased in 2018, then upgraded in 2020. Uh, when ventilating, my needle goes from angle to curve. Okay, let me think. My, my needle goes from angle to curve. Is that a common occurrence? occurrence or am I doing something wrong? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by going from angle to curve. Do you mean when you're inserting it into the lace? I'm not. Or if you have a, a short video, if you can DM me a short video so I can see it, that would help me help you. Absolutely, you can sign up today. So if you already own um, one of my previous Lace Week trainings, then... Uh, you have special pricing, a special upgrade price that's available. DM me if you already own it because you pay a different price to upgrade. All right. Um, I've been looking into the machine and Vesta Hair College. Yes, you should. I have the industrial sewing machine. Great. So do I. I love my machine. So I have the Texo 810. I don't know why people hoard that information, like what type of where they get it from and stuff like that. But I'm just very transparent <laughs> with it. I don't know. I'm sure people have their reasons. I ain't hating on nobody that does. But um, I purchased my machine from Texo, T -E I think it's T-E-C-H-S-E-W. And the model number is 810. I think it was about $2,000 when I purchased I think it has gone up a little bit, but don't quote me on that. Thanks for sharing. We read your mom's story on the website yesterday. Y'all are just so awesome. Y'all are just so awesome, Best in Hair College. By the way, they have industrial sewing machines as well. Um, it helps to put your questions in the question box. Thank you, Tiffany. It helps to put your questions in the question box so they don't get lost. Yes, that would be great. So listen, I never go live on Instagram. I think this is the second time in a few, I don't know, in a few months. I went live the other day. And so a lot has changed. Normally I'm live on 
uh, YouTube and Facebook and all of that stuff a couple times a week. So I haven't been live over here in a while. There is a question box that is a lot easier for me to be able to find the questions. So if you guys could do that, that would be amazing. Uh, does it come in different colors? I think you mean this. And if you mean this, the answer is yes, it does. Let me see, the other day I found, oh, let me see, the other day I probably have to scroll all day to find it again. I have found um, the form that I used to order from Vesta Hair College that had all of the different colors that that material came in. It's gonna take me too long to find it now, but right here, I wonder if this is the video. Um, I think this is the video. That's what it looks like after you ventilate the hair into that material, but you're not tying knots. It's like one side, you're ventilating one side, or you're pulling the hair through only one side, and when it comes through on the other side, your turnover side is the side that's shorter, obviously, and then the length of the hair is on the opposite side. And so then what you do is you turn it over and you seal it with a PU liquid, and then that's it. And that's how they wear it. But it's a lot of fun working with these, uh, these different types of materials and stuff like that. All right, guys, I am going to sign off now. Oh, I see another question. I purchased lace toppers and they balled quick and the hair is mixed, be mixed. Oh, okay, I got you, I understand, we're here. Do you sell toppers? No, so right now, I don't sell anything yet. So I am about two months away from finally launching my hair and wig company. Um, it has been two years in the making. Uh, it's just a long, <laughs> it's a long story. But I'm about two months away from, from doing that. But right now, I don't have any for sale. But what I do do, if you send me a, v, a, a VM, a DM, I always have students that I recommend. And like I said, I don't get any type of anything for recommending anybody. Um, I just like to hook my students up. So if you're looking for one, uh, shoot me a DM and let me know what you're looking for and I can have one of my trusty students who do amazing work to hook you up and they can take it from there. I just received my industrial machine Tuesday. Yes, that's exciting. I purchased the Texo 2500, there you go. So it went up $500, but I did buy mine right before COVID. So I bought it at the end of 2019. I have the 810 also, but don't know how to use it. There's a, an intense training of the 810 uh, inside Lacewood University in the bonuses. I go through how to thread it, all of that stuff, oil it, all of that. But let me tell you this, in case you, you don't purchase or you don't enroll, um, uh, Texo has amazing customer support. They will FaceTime you. Um, you can send them videos. They will walk you through. I mean, they are top notch. So if you don't know how to use it and you don't enroll in, in Lacewood University, just call them, call their customer support. They will help and walk you through everything. Their customer support is everything. Um, all right. Oh, okay. I, I think you said it again. Where can we purchase the PU skin from again? Vesta Hair College. They're on the live right now. Vesta Hair College. Oh, the shape of the needle warps. What kind of needle are you using? Um, DM me where you purchased it from. I would rather you not say it on here because I don't like putting companies on blast. That's not how I roll. Um, but DM me where you purchase your needle from. It is not co common for your needle to warp. I've never had a needle warp before. So DM me where you got it from and um, I can help point you in the right direction. Okay, I think I got everybody. Um, are you going to travel to different cities to teach your methods in person for the people that can't get to Vegas? I'm in Baltimore, by the way. The short answer to that is yes. 
Um, but none of those dates or locations will be released until after the Vegas event. I want to focus on the Vegas event. It's my first big event since COVID. So my last one that I was planned to have was in 2020. And it was the biggest one that I had ever had. And when COVID hit, I had to cancel it. Um, so, and I haven't had a big one since then. And everything is open up uh, again back here in Vegas. So I'm really excited and I wanna put all my focus towards that event. So I'm not releasing any dates or anything like that um, for my next hands-on events until after that. So it'll be after July when that gets announced. Um, but the answer to that is yes. When is the live event? So the live event is July 25th through the 27th here in Las Vegas. It's going to be at the M Resort. Right now, I'm giving all of my uh, students, so if you have ever been a student of mine that learned anything about wigs, um, I'm giving all of my students an opportunity to go ahead and register before I open it up to the general public. So right now it's students only. I'm almost positive I'm gonna open it up to the public so anybody can attend, but I wanted to give my students a head start. It's super cheap, it's only $49 to attend and if you want VIP access where you get special seating, a swag bag, we do a private Q&A and all of that good stuff, it's $1.99. Totally not required, but hey, it's there if you want it. And it's just gonna be amazing. I love doing live events, that's my thing. That's what I've always loved and that's just what I do. <laughs> my live events are second to none. Uh, let's see, I saw another question on here. Then I see some questions inside the little Q&A thing. Yes, come on, Ezra Hair. Can you travel to Baltimore for an in-person class? So I will, I will spill this tea. Baltimore is not one of the cities. It's going to be three cities, but there are two cities that are going to be very close to you that you'll be able to come to with no problem. Um, I understand I'll DM you. Perfect. Uh, you're my best friend in my head. <laughs> I'm going to join. Yes! <laughs> I said that to somebody just the other day, like, we're BFFs in my head. Just know that, okay? <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Thank you for everything. You are so welcome. Hoping to join the university sometime soon. Yes. So if you're joining this year, there's nine days left. I purchased mine off Etsy. There's no support. No. I didn't even know they sold them on Etsy. Dang. Oh my God. Oh, why thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, thank you. I think I got all the questions that were on here. I think I did. You're the best. Oh, thank you. Just just wake up from the uk i missed everything i i wish i could talk like y'all okay so every time every time one of the i talked to one of my instructors that i flew in from london uh or from the uk i'll say i tried to talk with their accent and it gets on my family's nerves because everything i say while they're here is just in the accent because I just think it's cool. Um, when we start making, when can we start making reservations? Yesterday, you can make your reservations immediately, right now. Uh, when are you coming to Houston? I'm not coming to Houston. Where are the cities that I am coming to? But I think I'm coming very close to Houston. Nothing is booked yet. That's why I'm being very quiet. Are you coming to New York? Yes. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Yes. Um, let's see. Um, it's cool. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I see four questions. Okay. You can reach your question. I can't show. Okay, so I can't show the question on the screen, but the PU skin can be purchased at Vesta Hair College. They're on here right now. Uh, just reach out to them, slide up in their DMs. Um, are you coming to New York? I already answered that, yes. 
Um, AJ, hey AJ, he is a, um, he just graduated from Lace Week University um, with this last class. So that's amazing. Uh, Marquetta, do you know where to get regular transparent lace like the one everyone's getting when they get their wigs from vendors or the hair store I believe they use? Vesta Hair College. They have um, both, they have it, Vesta Hair College. Um, do you teach us how to use the machine in the new course? Which machine? The um, the ventilating machine? If so, no, not yet. Um, I haven't added that yet. It's most likely something that I'm going to add for uh, 2023. But the industrial sewing machine, I do. Uh, I just saw two more questions pop up. Um, I had to look, I, ha I took your Lace Week, Lace University class in November. What's the difference? Nothing. There is no difference. You do not need to upgrade. There's nothing to upgrade for. The only, actually, the only difference is attending the event here in Vegas. You just have the option to attend here in Vegas, which I would love for you to, so I can give you a hug. I'm a hugger. I get it. I know COVID is a thing, but... I'm a hugger. Even if I got to hug the air and you're standing in there, I'm a hugger. I would love for you to come here to Vegas. Um, okay. I think I got all of the questions. Yes, I did. I'm going to sign off now. This video will be available for replay. And listen, I'm having another wigathon next week. I will post the dates for that probably sometime within the next couple of days. I just have to figure out the logistics of it um, because we're in between houses now. We're literally, yeah, that's besides the point. So having another wigathon, that means I'm going to be live all day talking and teaching about wigs. Some of my students who have graduated from previous programs will be sharing their stories. I'll be doing giveaways. It's going to be amazing. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be live on um, YouTube and Facebook. I don't know if I'm going to do it here on Instagram yet, but I'm definitely having another one. Make sure that you uh, are able to, even if you pop in and pop out, I'm going to be live all day long. Two more questions before I go. Uh, are you coming to Florida? I have both Lace Week University and Lace Week Trading System. Love them both. God bless you. Thank you. Florida is not on the list yet. Um, somebody says, do you like BTS? You know what's crazy? I didn't even know who BTS was until they won a Grammy. Um, but I don't know their music, so I can't say that I do. Very good morning to you, too. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off right now. I love each and every one of you. Um, God bless you all, and I'll pop on here at some other time and teach something else. All right. Love you guys. Talk soon. Bye.